We'll see what happens here. Everybody's been airing to the left side. Um, see if these guys Which make, make that adjustment. Must be a little bit of the overcompensation. Yep, and without a level, it, it, it doesn't take a lot. I mean, you just have a, just a couple degree yeah. tilt in your bow. And, and Eric has dropped his second arrow. He's got plenty of time. Mm, about 87 seconds left. David with the first arrow, high three. three. And you can see, you'll see two different form styles here. Eric's got the, the more traditional. And a miss one. on his first. A little bit of. I think he's unhappy up. with his. Something looks like middle. Up. Yeah, so it looks like something got came a little loose. It probably too tight of a knock that bounced him off the first couple times. But he was a little hesitant. He had a little giddy up on that shot. But he has like the more traditional high elbow for uh, for the European side. Dave's a little bit lower, a little bit more static release. Shoots a both shoot a five on that the second arrow. Eric came back nice. Just seemed really uncharacteristic to see him drop two arrows immediately. Yeah. And finish off with a four. four. Now you see David here. He's got a little bit of a, a little bit of a somewhat dead release. It's just a little bit, a little bit. Yep. There you go. Seems to work for him. Yep. It's it, it it's it's been working for him all weekend. Um, he shot the high first day, high second day. Um, he's been. I think he shot. He shot his uh, first match to get into the gold medal match. Really strong too. But yeah, you saw Eric fiddle with his. Uh, String knocks a little bit. I think he's kind of twisted the, the bottom one down a little bit. And it looks like we're starting to look right into the sun on some of these targets. Yep, looks like we're going to get some shade for the archers on this one. No wind speed to really speak of. It's about 0.3 meters per second. This is where it starts to get interesting. Because the most you can use is a, a piece of paper, 8 by 11, I believe it is. Yep. Like, yep, just the size of a sheet of paper. Not like some of the big ASAs when you have six or seven umbrellas. Right. Could get interesting when we start to see the archers with the scopes. Oh, yeah. Might have to have two shade spots for them. I believe you're not allowed. Oh, okay. I believe the max is one. Okay, so you're, they're going to have to pick their... Either their peep or their scope. Yep. Yeah, this is a, this is a tough shot of that sun right, right behind the target. And you see it uh, fly out to the side a bit for David. So Eric made up two points so far. Eric, another strong Solid shot. Solid shot. Five. Nice five. Three. One to the left. Last arrow. Eric shoots another strong four. Good target for Eric. Yep. He's going to make up some points on this one. Let's see if David rotates that bow over a little bit. A little low four. A little better. Tied up. 22 22. Amazing swing already. Yep. I shot with David, or uh, I'm sorry, uh, Eric, the first Worlds I ever went to. Um, you know, I, I heard about him, read about him. You know, I know he's a legendary archer. And we were probably four targets in, and I seen him flinch an arrow into a tree, probably three feet to the right of the target. And after that point, he just absolutely hammered down, and I want to say he shot the highest uh, qualification score. Um, he's he's a very mentally strong archer. And that's what you need to that's what you need to do in, in Barbo is you know we're all going to we're going to make mistakes. Um, but it's who can minimize them and who can overcome something bad and just keep focusing on making great shots. Um, he's one of the one of our best that that can do that.
Nice Solid strong. start. Yep. Just off the six. <laughs> yeah, he's in his groove right now. You think that uh, couple dropped arrows and that miss really seemed to have pushed him right from the start. Yeah, you, you. a lot of people, that would rattle people right off the bat, all right? You know, you're losing time and, and something's not quite right. But no, he just plugging through another strong shot, low, low five, just out of the six. Another strong shot. Yeah. That might be a six. It might have caught. Eric, that looks like a liner. They're calling it a five. Yep. It's another good strong target for Eric. I mean, like every other match, it's going to come down to this last target, it yep. looks like. And what a last target. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting target. <laughs> that one's just out for yep. a four. A four. So it really depends on whether he got that six or not. You'll see that little asterisk there that needs to be a, a judge call right at the right at the target. And it's been upgraded to a six. A tied match going to the last target. All the pressure on the archers for that last target. It depends on if they've had some good advice from anybody that shot this target, or either earlier today or yesterday. Yeah, it's what helps here is if, if you had a friend um, that has a very similar style to you. And, they can they can pass on some some decent information um, so that's that's the tough part like I said earlier um, you know one man's cut is another man's addition so this will be interesting oh Center. perfect oh beautiful first shot by Eric that's really got to put the pressure on David This is in Eric's first rodeo. David left two, or right two, I'm sorry. Great height though. Yeah. So he's got the height, he just needs to tip his bow a little. Oh, he's putting that pressure on, four. And he's already loading for his last arrow. Okay. So Eric's got to shoot a three, and this will be it. Four. 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 Strong target. He is a happy man right now. I got some inside information on this one. So I was told earlier that we'll let, watch David's last shot. Oh, and miss with his last. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it's a it's a good good solid match. It comes down to that last target. And Absolutely. It's, it's it's almost like a lottery target where you're either gonna strike it good or it's not. You, you know, you're gonna come out. Um, but yeah, I was told earlier that uh, there might be some big plans with Lena and Eric if they both ended up winning individual gold and, and it's happened so you know we might see some uh we might see their relationship go to the next level and uh a little get white chapel in their future yeah they they